Hello and welcome back to Inferno Flat World Survival. Now guys, things have been changing rather a lot since the last episode. First things first, I died. And that probably one of the biggest changes being that the cobblestone generator is gone. I have moved it over here. And the reason it's gone and moved over here is because of slimes. Now, I wish I'd been recording this because it was ridiculous. I was happily mining away, getting rid of getting my curved cobblestone together to build this monstrosity, which I'll get onto in a minute. And what happened was, as I broke the block, the slime hit me and knocked me under the lava, under the slab that the lava was on top, un, um, under the slab the lava was under. And because I hadn't done anything with this area here, it wasn't a one deep piece of lava. It was a two deep piece of lava. And I couldn't get out. So I lost absolutely everything, including the stuff I had prepped for this episode. Because I was going to start recording this episode about a day ago. So I had lots of preparation done for it. And I was grabbing a little bit more stone to get a bit more work on the platforms done. Now, if we run up here, um, I've got to replant that one, but that's fine. Um, you want to we have some new stuff and things. Now, the reason for this lift up here is one, them, the slimes. I've had enough of them. They really annoy me. Um, another thing I had on me, actually, was all my dirt. I had like a stack and a bit of dirt on me at the time as well, which was really not good because, yeah, I've now lost all of that. Which really sucks. So, yeah, we now got to start again, basically. Um, but basically, what we've got to set up here is the 25 by 20, or oh, 5 by 5 block area set up here. And what we're going to do, let me go grab the bits. You go away. Let me grab a few bits and bobbies and bobbies and bitties. What I need is. Don't have bone metal in that one. Don't have bones in this one. I need this, this, and this. And I need some bones. So let me go grab a bit of a bony action. Um, yeah, that'll do us. 24 bones is more than enough for what I need for this demonstration. And what we're going to have... Also, yes, I have cows and sheep now as permanent features. These are not going to get killed. They're going to get bred. And we're going to kill the breeding ones, basically. We're going to breed them up to a point, and then we're going to kill them after we've bred them for a little while. Um, basically, what we're going to do here is we're going to have a little bit of a... Uh, a thing like so and then we're gonna do a little bit of this action right there just like that and then we're gonna get our bone mill uh maybe I'd make it into bone mill that might be a smart idea Teddy mm-hmm don't get bones get bone mill and we turn this into this as you do because now we've got the access to this we can make things a bit more pretty Instead of having everything grey and a little bit of green sprinkled in for a colour, we can actually go ahead and do this. Now, what I can do, of course, I have got some of these mushrooms on me already, like picked up from the nether. I can just bone me one of them, and we get a stupid little tree. And if we break that block out first, then hopefully we keep the nylium underneath, which is very nice. But what we can do now is we can just break this little bad boy down collect out some of this stuff now one of the things i really want actually are the shroom lights of which there are zero currently there but what i'm going to do i'm going to be collecting some of this stuff up and this is what we're going to use to start working on our iron farm so i am going to have so i'm going to need glass or anything like that that's useful so i'm going to use warp stem because it's fireproof um warp planks and i'm going to use shroom lights for lighting it up and that's what we're going to use to build our iron farm with also over in this corner the reason I had all the dirt was I was going to make a secondary crop field. Because that one, one isn't big enough, and two was being attacked by slimes all the time. Hence, again, why I've moved upstairs, because I've had enough of the slimes. They annoy me. Um, so that's what's going to happen. Also, we got all this, the warts, and we're going to use that to kind of sprinkle in with the patination for the iron farm. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut away. I'm going to come and breed these guys up again, because I need some more breeding done. Going to cut that tree down, grow a few more, cut down some actual trees as well because I need some normal wood to go with it. And I'll come back to you guys after I've done a bit of groundwork. Alrighty, I am back from grinding, and I mean grinding to get the stuff back I lost between episodes. Um, this chest has pretty much everything we're going to need. 
for doing everything we need in today's episode. We got lots of wood, I got all the coarse dirt. I actually got three, nearly four stacks of dirt. If I want to turn that into coarse dirt and back to regular dirt, it will be four stacks, which will be fantastic. Also got myself fermented spider eye and gunpowder for making our potions from the brewing stand and leaves for our iron farm and what watts and all the rest of it. Um, also, if you're wondering why I did what I've been doing to get the gravel, I've been hanging around over there. And you're probably thinking, why did I do that? Well, not only do I get gravel, I get gold, uh, iron. Lots and lots of iron. Now I have 61. Also, I'm back in the nether again. But now I have four diamonds. Which we'll come to later. I'm not touching them for now. They're going to be important later on. I want to make an enchantment table later on. I don't have sugar canes yet, and I'm not going to consider making an enchantment table until I get sugar cane. Now, obviously, I could use this book here, maybe to make the, sugar, the, the enchantment table. But yes, the reason I want all this iron is so we can make the hoppers, the high mica hoppers, and the rails we're gonna need for the iron farm. Now, I'm happy to sacrifice all this iron because I'm gonna get it all back at the other side. That's the whole point of this. So, what we're gonna do is we are gonna grab these chests. We're gonna grab our iron. I need some more chests, so I need more wood. I got wood on me. Let me just make a load of the chests, there we go. And then I need one, two, three, four, four hoppers plus a minecart hopper. In fact, I need two minecart hoppers. So let me do that, that, and then that. I also gonna need a cauldron, but that is more for my benefit than their benefit. Because what we're going to do with the cauldron is we are going to be making tipped arrows to cure our zombie villagers. Because three potions in a cauldron will give me a stack of arrows. Yeah, much better way of doing it, right? Much better way of doing it. Also, I need, um, I need to waste some stuff making rails as well, yes. So now I'm down to eight irons. So now I have to be careful with the little iron I have left. I do have a couple of buckets already, though, so that's fine. I did lose... I had three buckets at one point. Um, I did lose one of them when I died as well, which is not fun, but it's fine. Also, I've got instant health potions. These came from killing witches in the uh, in this farm. Witches sometimes don't die when they fall. So, yeah, that's quite cool. Anyway, if we go up here, we are going to start building our iron farm around about that sort of position there. Um, one thing I do need to do as well, looking up at the uh, at the moth farm, is I forgot to slab that row there, on both sides. So what's happening is because it's so dark, I've made the moth farm so well. The uh, the mobs are actually spawning there, which is not really what I'm looking for, but you know it's fine. So let me just get into making this thing. And this. <laughs> No, let me hit the edge of there like that. Come on. Let me place it. You know you want to place. There we go. With two on there, constantly moving around like that. That's how we get our bottom set up. And actually, we're going to need the bucket of lava as well as two buckets of water. But the other thing we're going to need for the next level is we're going to want four of these bad boys. And this is going to be our kill platform. So anything that survives the drop will end up on the magma blocks and they will die from magma. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the whole cutaway malarkey again because... I've built this thing so many times. You want to see me build it. I've got a tutorial on my channel how to build an iron farm. Go check it out. You know what to do. But I'm going to cut away. I'm going to get some more building of this done. And I will bring you back in for the fun part of getting the villagers. Alrighty, so there we are, plodding along. And these guys decide to turn up. Lucky for me, I've got my own bow and arrow. And I can deal with you before you can deal with me. On the negative side, I have now got bad omen, and that's going to be around for 90 minutes, unless I get myself a bucket of milk. 
which of course we can do. So let's do that and then get back to work. Okay, so what we have done is got a big green spear around us. Hmm. Now the reason for that is I've made myself an armor, pack, armor stand and I've got foxy no tails. Armor stand pack installed. Now the good re reason I've done this is this makes life a little bit easier. This is a resource pack. It's not a behavior pack, so it doesn't mean cheats need to be enabled. Um, it's kind of a quality of life thing. It shows me spawn spheres. It shows me chop borders and all that good stuff. So I haven't used it up until now only because I want to find out how far away from that thing I am. Um, to make sure I can get that stuff spawning in and not, you know, be too close. So what I've done, what I've done, what I've done is run in here. Let's see if we've got anything for starters. We have got ourselves a little area for 16 villagers set up. We're going to put the beds when we get the beds made up here above. I've even got a little viewpoint so I can see the golems dying when we get to that point. And in here, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we should... That ain't what I wanted to see. Didn't want a creeper in there. Hmm. Alright, let's run away and despawn that, and then come back. Oh, my bee's on fire! You're a moron, bee. You dumb bee. Run over here and get a lot of stuff spawn over here instead. And then run back over there. And hopefully that creep will be gone. But this is how I plan on getting my zombie villagers. Now this is going to take some time. It's going to take a lot of time. But what I can do is every time I break that, it lights up in here a little bit. Nothing in there right now. But that's fine. Let's go back to our waiting point. Hopefully we won't get any more creepers over there. That'd be kind of inconvenient having more creepers. But yeah, I think what's gonna have to happen is I'm gonna have to um, cut away again. I know, Teddy's doing a lot of cuts in this episode. It's apologies all round on that counts. Unless you really wanna spend the next half an hour with me trying to get villagers this way before I try and figure out another way of doing it. So yeah, give us some time and I'll come back. Alrighty, a lot has happened since the last clip. As you can see in my pocket, I have some bread. And that can mean one of two things. Either one, I've made some bread, or two, I have villagers. And the fact I have emeralds as well means obviously I have some villagers. Now, it's been a lot of work. It really has. I'll leave my bed there for now. It's probably too close to me still, but it shouldn't affect the iron farm. Um, basically, it ended up being the case that what i did also yeah i've got a crop field over here now as well i got bored of waiting for my villagers not zombie villagers to spawn in so i decided to um to put a crop field over here as i originally planned um so what i ended up doing was i used that platform up there as our spawning platform because it was bigger already built and it just made sense to do it so what i did i built a platform out here and I hung around kind of up there for the zombie villagers to spawn in. And I got through so many arrows. You would not believe it. I got through like three stacks of arrows. And about two bows. And one of the skeletons actually dropped this bow, which is power two punch one. Kind of nice, but it was like half durability when I got it. It's now dead. So, hmm. I've also been feeding these guys a few carrots. So, they have got a few babies flying around the place. Hence why I've given myself... A little bit of an area here. I'm still kind of worried that they might be able to get out from there. So I'm just going to do that to stop that from happening. But so far, what I've got in place is a Fletcher for training sticks and a Farmer for training potatoes. Now, my reasoning for that is I'm using the carrots for breeding the villagers, because that makes sense. I'm also using the wheat for breeding my animals. So I really want potatoes of my trade. Now the third guy I haven't actually given a job to yet. He is currently a shepherd. I don't really want him to be a shepherd though. I think what I'm going to do with you is make you a cleric. And we're going to put your workstation there for now. And yes, you've turned straight into a cleric. And because I've cured you, you also give me a discount. Now this is really, really good. Because this means I can get lapis, which means I can do some enchanting later on. I can get redstone i can get glowstone for decorating i can get myself ender pearls and i can get myself bottles of enchanting and that was our first cat we actually got ourselves a cat i know it's exciting isn't it 
He's so excited about the cats, and so am I. But now I've got to do is is the, the waiting game. I've got to hang around and wait. Also, this guy, I got lucky very quickly. This guy, because he wants weak, he sells weakness arrows. So if I do get to the point where I can roll my villagers, I can actually get weakness arrows and roll them that way. But obviously, I need a lot more gold before I can start thinking about rolling my villagers. Um, but you're probably wondering why do I need so many villagers in a world like this? Well, put it simply, I need this many villagers in a world like this because I need to get myself looting. That's going to be the best way for me to be able to fight these mobs. The, 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 the wither skeletons, that's the one, Teddy. The best way for me to fight the wither skeletons and get the, uh, the end portal frames is going to be with looting. Now, I don't know if I'm going to go as far as try to get myself set up with with a fight at any point i don't really fancy a with a fight in this world i didn't plan a with a fight in this world but you never know it could happen it could happen so what i'm gonna quickly do i'm gonna grab me some rod and flesh it's not like i'm short of the stuff right and we're gonna run over here and we're gonna go and trade our friendly go away cleric rotten flesh which is the only reason I've got a cleric, by the way. I didn't get a cleric for any other reason than to trade out all the many, many millions of rotten flesh we've got. And, oh yes, look, he's very happy to take the rotten flesh off my hands. Yes, very much. And we've got a shower of XP coming in as well. Now, one thing I did forget, neglect, I've noticed, let me just go back in here and hop up, is the cats can actually fit in the trap doors. They can fit in the half blocks where the trap doors are. Which might work against me, but it shouldn't be a problem. I don't really care if the cats die or not. I'm going to get plenty of string out of that thing anyways. So it doesn't really bother me all that much. If the cats survive. The iron golems won't. I haven't actually put the lava in this thing yet either. So I should probably do that at some point. But now what I need to do... Hi, yes, I know. You're excited as well. What you really need to do now is wait for these guys to grow up. I'm not going to be able to employ them all straight away because I do need iron to employ some of them. Um, so I need to get them all grown up. It doesn't matter if they don't have workstations initially, as you can see with cats coming in. But I might just make them all farmers temporarily. And then once they're all grown up, we can, um, you know, get them sorted out, essentially. So... I'll cut away, carry on, get my zombies, not my zombies, Teddy, you, you, your words are not working today, it's early morning, can you tell? Mm-hmm. Get the villagers all grown up and get them breeding a bit more so we get up to 16, because I need to be very careful with breeding these guys, I don't want more than 16, because I haven't got spaces more than 16 right now. So, yes, let me get away, let me get these guys grown up, get some more of these occupied, and give them some more jobs, and I'll come back to you guys, hopefully, when I've got a full setup. Alrighty, exciting things are going on guys as you can see it behind me there's cats running around all over the place but i don't really care about the cats what is amazing is we've got iron golems in the farm we've got a working iron farm and I've, all my villagers have grown up now which means that they are all and they're not none of them are nitwits which is why we've got a working iron farm now i've got a few that are not employed there's one two three i think that are not employed still now, there are only two that are not employed, which means I've got nine that are currently employed out of the 11 villages I have. Which is apparently enough to get iron coming in. So I've now got an iron farm. This is so exciting. Um, what I may do, actually, is get a shepherd as well. So I might be able to sell some red dye to get more emeralds. But in the long run, now I'm waiting for a wandering trader to appear. And the reason I want a wandering trader... Is very simple. I need sugar cane. I'm going to need sugar cane so I can get some of these guys turned into librarians. So I can get a librarian to sell me a book of looting. And hopefully smite five. But what I have done, let me take you through what we've got first. What we have here. This guy, yes, he sells me stone spoons, but that's the lowest trade you can get. That doesn't matter. He sells me Bane of the Iron Axe. I don't care about that either, but what he does sell me is an officially two shovel. 
and a silk touch pickaxe. Now, you may be thinking, this doesn't sound very, this is not very good, Teddy. No, it actually is really good, because it means I can go and get the um, Crimson Nidium from the Nether, and have yet another thing to add to the palette we can build with, which is fantastic news. Then we have got our Sword Guy. Now, this guy, early game, so the Iron Axes, which is gonna be fantastic for gathering wood. Smite 2 Sword of the Iron Variety. A sharpness two axe of the diamond variety and a sharpness two unbreaking two sword. Now, this will get disenchanted when I eventually get one, and hopefully we'll be putting smite five and looting on it. Now I don't really care about unbreaking so much, but it is the looting and the smite five I am after. Now just to fill the numbers up, I have added in some more um, farmers. One for wheat, one for potatoes, one for carrots, just because we can. I'm probably going to get a few more of these guys in place as well, because I had an idea that I could buy bricks and use bricks in building as well. I know I'm talking about doing a lot of building. Mm -hmm. There's not been a lot of building in this, but what I do want to build, I don't want to build cobblestone, because cobblestone's ugly. I built this. This is not exactly the prettiest build in the world either, but it's not bad for what materials I had, so I can live with it. But what this guy has obviously is bricks. He has dripstone blocks so we can actually get ourselves, you know, dripstone if we need it for any reason. He's got glazed terracotta and most importantly, he has quartz. Blocks of quartz. Now that's going to come in handy if you want to do some nice fancy builds later on. I'm also tend to get a second cleric because then we can have a second one selling glowstone. And he buys the nether warts as well. So if we get a bit of nether wart farm going, I can actually get that sorted out too. But yeah, as I said before, the next thing I need to do is find myself a wandering trailer selling me sugarcane. And I actually had one of those at one point. I put it in a boat and then he just decided to despawn. Because regardless of whether they are active or not, they despawn after 45 minutes. So I don't have a I don't have sugarcane right now, which is the next goal for me. But that's gonna have to wait till next episode because between episodes, what I'll be doing is getting these guys sorted out. Hopefully getting the Wanderer Trader selling me some sugarcane. And then hopefully getting a sugarcane farm sorted out. But that's going to have to, have, have to wait. So if you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button. If you really love to hit subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.